Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to fix UAE Pass app not working. It's very quick and easy, so let's get started. So I have actually prepared here some methods that we can follow to fix this issue. So here are the steps. So first is ensure that you have a stable internet connection. It may be Wi-Fi or mobile data. Switch between Wi-Fi and mobile data to see if the issue resolves. Restart your router if you're on Wi-Fi or toggle airplane mode on and off to reset mobile data. Second is close the app completely and reopen it. On Android, go to Settings, tap Apps, go to UAE Pass, and then tap on Force Stop. On iPhone, swipe up or double press the Home button and swipe away the UAE Pass app to close it, then relaunch. After that, ensure that you're using the latest version of UAE Pass. So go to App Store for iPhone or for Google Play Store to Android. Search for UAE Pass and see if there are any updates available. If so, then install them. Now, sometimes cached data may cause the app to malfunction. So go to Settings, tap Apps, and then go to UAE Pass. Tap on Storage and choose Clear Cache. If the issue persists, tap Clear Data. This may res reset the app, so make sure you have your login details ready. After that, you can also ensure that your phone's data and time are set to automatic. UAE Pass requires the correct time zone. So for that, go to Settings, tap on Date and Time, and enable Automatic Date and Time. Also, make sure the location services are turned on. So, go to Settings, tap Location, and enable it for UAE Pass. Now, if the app still doesn't work, uninstall it and reinstall the latest version from the App Store or Google Play Store. So, for iPhone, long press the App icon and tap Delete App. For Android, go to Settings, tap on App, and then go to UAE Pass, and then tap Uninstall. Next method is there may be server or side issues affecting the UAE Pass app. So make sure to check the UAE Pass website or social media pages for any server disruptions or maintenance notices. For the next method, ensure permissions are enabled. So UAE Pass may need permissions to access certain phone features. So to do that, go to settings, tap apps, then go to UAE Pass. Then tap permissions and make sure required permission like camera, storage, and location are enabled. Now for the last method, if none of the above solutions work, you may need to reach out to UAE Pass customer support for further assistance. So to do that, visit the official UAE Pass website or app for their support contact details. And that's it for today's video. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!